What's up, guys? Oh uh, my gosh. So, this is my GoPro. Um, I was supposed to be doing it on the other camera, but kind of ruined the whole surprise here. Well, I'm going to be doing the rest of this over here. Hopefully, my GoPro doesn't die before, you know, I'm going to plug it in now. Uh, yeah. So, yeah. See the uh, any cubic photon right here? Uh, I am in the process of uh, putting the build plate. I think that's what that's called. No, that's the build plate. This is the thing that goes up and down. Is it extruder? No. That's the build plate. Yeah, because it builds on here. That's right, because it builds upside down. Okay. So, let us keep going on what we were, what we were doing before. So, what we were doing is um, plugging this in because when you turn it on and you need to get it calibrated and set up. Uh, I hope you guys are enjoying everything. Uh, honestly don't know if you could see anything so I was using my phone uh, to see exactly what's going on but eh no point now so hopefully you guys enjoy or hopefully enjoy everything that I'm doing I know it's not as good as the phone uh, but my f the phone at the time uh, is not recording correctly. Uh, I might use my phone, <sighs> and I probably should. But the problem is, the camera that I want to use is not not use it is not great to be honest. Uh, I broke it. If you can see, uh, someone at smash the lenses out or the glass out right there so you know I put plastic there not much I can do so anyways guys this is my setup I know some of you guys are new uh, I know some of you guys have never seen me before but congratulations you know I think you're gonna be happy once you see everything that we're gonna do here one day it's not going to all happen, but it'll happen one day. This is not a sponsor by anyone, by any means, um, because I don't know what I'm doing, to be honest. And um, I don't know how long this is going to take, because I, I, I talk too much. I probably should be doing this already. Or I probably should be almost done by now, but for me... It doesn't work out like that. It's like a regular computer power cord and a regular laptop charge cord. Anyways, put this into the bag. Zoom. Pretty hard click in there. The side window is nice. Dirty. Like it's dirty, dirty. Like there's film on it. Anyways, let's get this around. Going around town. Oh, I would do have to keep checking on the battery because honestly, I got to tell you guys, I don't know what is going on, but I just got this GoPro. I don't know if it. The battery is going to be the greatest on here, to be honest. I know that they have uh, swappable batteries for the other ones, but I did elect to get the cheaper, um, less <laughs> featured uh, GoPro. So, you know, I'm kind of out of luck with this, but that's okay. That is okay.
go. Now, flip it on. How's that look? Let's see how that looks on, on your guys' end. Okay, I know it's shaky a little bit guys, but the uh, the stand that I have on the GoPro is not the greatest to be honest. Um, it's really, really wobbly and loose. So anyways, got turned on. Okay. Loosen the set screw, we did that. Install the platform onto the platform bracket and then tighten the red secure knob onto the top, on the top. Okay. Making sure we get it on there. Now it's supposed to go in actually here. Um, I wasn't ha I wasn't successful to begin <laughs> To begin with to actually get it in there uh, and into the hole I'm not sure why though because I angled it in there but what if I did it this way no because it doesn't let me I uh, see I have to be able to do that because it doesn't Okay. Okay, so what I'm trying to do is I'm actually just trying to move the build plate up. So Back up, run back down. So I'm gonna raise it up. There's arrows going up. Let's see, get it up. Almost. Okay, guys, we're in business now. Oh my gosh, which one should it go into? Does it go into the first one, the second one? That's another reason why it didn't even tell you that. Well, at least from what I see here, I don't see that the bracket is on there while they are adjusting it. And that would have been nice to know, you know, beforehand.
But hey, you know what? It's okay. That's what I'm here for. And I hope that it doesn't crack the screen. So I'm just saying. Take the push. That's, a, that's another thing that does not say that at all. That is so weird. It just says to tighten the screws down. See, yeah, it does not say that at all. But hey, that's okay. It's totally okay. We're going to put this back on and we're going to adjust it. Just this per se. Da, 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 da. Now I get a, get a piece of paper, printing paper. It says, got one right here. Georgia Pacific. Now I know that you guys are probably hearing a lot of dead dead air. Um, I am sorry. I mean, this is my first time ever doing this, so I probably am not paying 100% attention like I probably should be. See, and this is all messed up right here. I'm not sure what that is, but it looks like it was a botched job. Like, this, this is all scratched up too. It's okay. I am not worried about it. I just want to be able to do this correctly. So, how do they put a whole piece of paper in there? Because mine are way bigger than that. How is that possible? using the bigger printer so okay well let's go back home here piece of A4 paper Oops. This is whatever but it's not going to fit that way so I probably have to I'm going to cut this in half because it's not going to fit there like that, so, okay. Now we need to go, it says, Okay, five, after the home, click the lower the Z-axis by one millimeter 
or 0.1 millimeter or 1 million, 1 millimeter. Okay. Well, then we need to go back up because. So it says here, okay, lower, blah, 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 care for new single clicks, figures six, okay, on the touch screen until you feel the resistance when pulling the paper back and forth. Do not continuously click the setting to avoid platform hitting the LCD. Now finger press on top of the platform gently to let it fit evenly on the 2K LCD screen and make sure it is aligned in every direction. Then fix the set screw as tight as possible so the platform is leveled. Okay, wasn't well, easy. So then we'll go down. Feel right there. <laughs> See, it feels loose over there, but it's tight over there. Is it not wanting to stay? See what I mean? It's like uh, it's moving this way. It's weird. I mean, I know it's supposed to have some play. Oh, sorry, I'm attached. Of course. I swear, that's where it was supposed to go. Alright. So I'm stupid. Okay. Let's 
say a little bit of resistance. Okay. Make sure it's set here. Okay, I hope that works. Okay. Okay, go back. It says last leak tools and then Z. Click enter. Saying okay. Rains rise the platform about a hundred. Hold on, Zizu. Tools detection. Select an image and the test it. Okay. I don't get what that's what I'm supposed to click though. It doesn't say. Step A, please check if the FEP film on the resin bat is tight. See, they didn't even tell you to put it back on there. Drop everything. Let's get this. back in here because honestly I don't know why he didn't tell me to put it back in here <sighs> sorry it's taking so long guys it's going to take me forever anyway so
Anyways, guys, I know that since we're <laughs> pretty much just not doing nothing, um, I'll tell you what kind of things I want to be printing with the uh, resin printer here. And one of them is um, characters. So it could mean like, I don't know, uh, superhero characters or... Uh, see Mario Brothers and stuff um, could do other things like uh, a shoe or uh, a mouse let me make sure let me make sure that these are not working. screwdriver type things and only one of them works. Tiny screws. Because I certainly can't put them anywhere else. They don't go anywhere. sure what the rest of the instructions want me to do though because it's set to raise the platform 120 millimeters but it didn't do anything when I did that so Okay, well, I'm not sure what it's supposed to be doing right now, but I'm waiting for it to finish. I'm not sure if it is going to finish. It just says to um, should be 
display the image. Number eight, check that the FP is tight. It's not tight. Please tighten the screws. Make sure the resin vat is nice and clean. Then install the resin vat till it lines with the two uh, limit screws on the panel. Finally tighten the red vat screws on both sides to secure the vat. That's about it. So. Okay, I assume that's done, but what I'm going to do see how this starts here. Put in the USB. That is. I'm going to put another uh, file on this because there's no point in me doing this. Let me make sure this is still, you guys are still, hey, cool. Um, this is not going to work with just that one print. So, what I'm doing is I'm actually uh, going to put another print on that file or on the memory card. So that way I can print something and just be done with it. Um, let's see. I'm just picking a uh, finding something to actually print off real quick. Uh, Boat. Okay, well, I am. Downloading the file right now. I'll put it on the memory card and then I will put that back in there. Give me a second here. I'm just putting it on the file or in the memory card. Where is it at?
guys. I am going to put a couple of files in here because I'm just, why not? I already have them. And I want to make um, some things right away anyways. I also want to um, I also want to be able to do some of these household prints actually. Um, I'll be able to do them. Kind of have to wait, but it's okay. Okay. I think that's good. Okay, back to what I was doing. Bam, bam, bam. See, now this does not tell me to put in the, uh, the resin yet until after uh, I tighten down everything and the image shows putting the uh, memory card in. Uh, it says go to the test file, but there was no test file there. I know, because I looked. But, let's try it again. See what else, see what there is. Print. I'm just waiting. Okay, maybe it doesn't want to show. And I don't know what that is, and not only that, it's not giving me the option to use the other files, or um, select the files that I already put on here. And I didn't put them in the wrong spot, I don't think. At least I don't think. But I am going to look. See, yeah, it only it only wants to print PWS files. Why is that? Do, do, do. Oh, this looks like someone else had the same issue.
Well, I did not know that I had to do that. Gosh. So, in order to use or, um... use my own um, files to print from, I have to convert them over from um, the STL uh, file format to the, uh, what is it, what is it, what is it, what is it, uh, PWS um, file format, which is basically, it's bull crap, but I, you know, I don't make the rules. I don't make these things, so um, what I'm going to do is I am going to move the files over so that way I can print it, but let me Oh my gosh, this is so annoying, guys. I am so, so sorry that I have to do this. Like, and it's 11 o'clock, guys. So, we might even have to, like, take this and uh, maybe do some more work on it later I will upload whatever I can um, because you know it's kind of bull crap that I couldn't so that's what I'm going to do I'm going to upload whatever I can and then I'm going to go to bed soon or whenever I can <laughs> uh, yeah let me all I really want to do right this second is move a file over so that way I can see if I can print that one actually. Photon, P, D, oh, I want to move it over permanently. Copy it. Was there any other? Sorry guys, I'm just looking to see if there was anything else that I could print. <sighs> nope, does not look like I can actually, so, but that's okay. I'm almost done. So. Okay. Now, since I'm waiting for that to move over, all I gotta do now is make sure the print is on there, fill up the vat with the liquid. put on gloves before I put that in there uh, I don't know if I need to do that just yet because I'm just gonna pour it in there but if I need to pour it or take it out and drain it I will certainly do that but okay what I want to do is do I have to move it up It does not tell me. Okay, so what I'm going to do then is fill it to the line. Let's see. Now that line does not seem 
just says one third volume of the vat. Well, that doesn't make sense. Guys, I know if I touch it, I'm going to have to wash my hands. I get it. I'm not trying to be the uneducated person, but getting this off is super hard. And I know it would be even with gloves on, so... Okay. fill this up well it says the says weird thing it, I don't know how to actually let me, let me look this up really fast guys while we're here fill see and this is how I learn stuff fill resin fat No, there isn't. I didn't see the line there, is it? Right above the raised edge, there's a line. I don't see the line. And if they do have it, it's over there. Okay, you know what? See, that's what this guy says. Hey, you know what? Fill it, but don't fill it too much, right? Okay, well, you know what? That's good. This video is taking too long. Like, way too long. Okay. 
Okay. My first time filling. I just don't know how to fill it. I've never seen anyone fill it before. And it doesn't look like it's all the way down, but it does. Okay. Or say never, right? I just don't know how to do this. Wait. No. I'm just going to pour it in here. It'll just be a lot easier because that way I don't spill it. Actually, just making sure that I have enough in there. Let me go back here and in there because when I raise the bed here I noticed that there are some on the side there's still stuff on the side there but it's not yeah let's put on the gloves oh you know what I was going to show you guys a whole bunch of the things that I got but that's going to have to wait because it's already taken over an hour so, you, know, you know what I mean so, glad they give us really huge gloves. We can just take this off and reuse it anyway, so I'm not going to have it on very long. Okay. Let me make sure all of the resin is getting down there. paper towel, but it's okay. I think I'll put on this piece of paper. Okay. Make sure. Let me get my paper towel real fast. I had it right here, but it went away. That's one thing that I know that I was told. Yes, I know Zeus, you want to go outside. Come on, dog. Sorry, guys. Okay. Go. Oh. Uh, cat wants it. Okay, got my paper towels. I'm going to wipe some of this stuff up that's on the bill plate, on the top of the bill plate, at least. Not like it's really, really, really needed, but although. I didn't mean to like get it on the very, very top of it. No way I can't clean it up, so I'm not too worried. I'm mostly worried about seeing how much I can put down there, but it's not filled yet. Now we're going to get 
get started. Now, this is going to take forever, guys. I can't even tell you how long this is going to take. I really don't know. But what I do know is... We're going to get started. I hope I don't fill it up too much. We'll find out though, right? At least I will. It says it's going to take 5 hours and 19 minutes. That is a very, very long time. It's already telling me what it's doing and how many lines uh, there are, or layers, excuse me. There's 1,481 layers to this um, thing that I'm making, which is basically a test print. It's supposed to take five hours, guys, so whenever we come back, whenever we re-adjourn, you will see what happened. Um, and hopefully it's not that I screwed up and I need to call someone and see if I can fix it. You know, I just hope that doesn't come to that. That's all I gotta say. Okay, I'm gonna make sure and clean this up. Get my paper towel. And that's one thing, like I said, guys, make sure you have. Oh, well, I'm at second line already, or second, you know, second layer. Um, make sure you have paper towels around. Because just in case, like, say this spills or does something, um, uh, I can't help it. You know, what if I'm asleep? What if a uh, cat comes over and knocks it over? Or... I don't know, honestly. What I am going to do, though, is I am going to make sure that it is closed. Um, now, notice the uh, panels right here. They put these on so that way um, the fumes and stuff is inside there. Uh, I wish that they would have had more than wish they would have had more than one window to view uh, view through, but I will probably, I probably will do something about this. Because um, this seems pretty easy to, to be able to, I don't want to say fix, but to be able to replace and put another panel there. Um, so that way it's just clear. So even if it's just a, an acrylic or, or whatever, I don't mind that. And I like the fact that it's magnetic the closing there, uh, the, the lid, I think it has magnet, yeah, I think that's a magnet, no, the magnets were right here on the bill plate, or right by the bill plate, <sighs> I hope nothing else is going wrong, I did do this super tight, so, you know, I, I don't honestly know, so, We're on layer three. Okay, I'm gonna throw this stuff away. Probably gonna be ending this video soon, but. Um, I think a second. I'm actually just throwing stuff away here. I gotta rinse this funnel off soon. 
Not yet. I'm going to leave this here. My dog wants in now, of course. Come on. Let's do it. Did you go potty like a good boy? Yes. Okay. Yes, I know, I know. I know. You want a treat? You get one treat, and that's it. Ready? Sit. Good boy. Ah. Good boy. Okay. Well, you guys, since we are pretty much done here, I mean, I'll, I, I'm just waiting. I've got to wait five hours and 14 minutes to see what happens. Lid on. I'll make sure everything is kind of together. You know, and I gotta say, guys, I'm not sure why they give you extra screws for other things that I haven't even had to touch yet. Like, there's no screw right here, but there. Uh, they have the photon screw that goes right there for the build, or for this, um, I'm not even sure what they call this part right here, but the build plate to hold the arm, um, I'm not sure why they give us more screws, I don't know if, if these get removed and you're supposed to put those on, or, or if they just get stripped or not, I, I'm not sure, but in any case, guys, thank you for joining me. My name is Robert Davis. Uh, I don't do these often, but I will be doing a lot more videos uh, about uh, 3D printing. I will do a lot more videos about uh, making. Uh, I'll be giving away free stuff. The stuff that I'm building, I'll be giving away. Uh, not everything, <laughs> and not all the time. Uh, but if you guys want to have free stuff, leave stuff in the comments. Um, tell me what you guys like, what you would like to see be, be built um, or made. Um, and what I mean built, you guys, I, I don't know why I did that, I build computers. I can put things together. I'm a, I game. I don't know if you can see, I have an Xbox here. This is all themed stuff, but uh, I have a lot of things that I have coming up that I'm going to be doing for this channel with 3D printing. Another thing, which is kind of the major thing, is I'm going to be making an enclosure for the, um, for my prints to cure. Now, let me explain this really fast. They need UV light to cure the light itself once it hits the screen it hardens um, the, the the resin the liquid resin and that's how it turns into a plastic hard figure uh, but I do need to use one of those buckets up there I don't know if you could see it let me make sure I can see if you guys can see it no I'll bring it down oh, okay so Got a bunch of stuff in here. Got my gloves, guys. Probably should have had those on before. Got my gloves. Now got this because I needed to have isopropyl alcohol. Because when you're done, you're gonna throw your prints inside here uh, with the rubbing alcohol, well, isopropyl alcohol, and then you're gonna basically just swish it around and, and get the excess resin off and that's where the funnel and the other things come into play um, and I also have that I got some regular gloves um, just in case I ever need it let's see what else did I have in here scraper I got that because I know that they I know they were supposed to give me one I got it um, but it's kind of not as wide as I want it to be so I got something wider hopefully it doesn't scratch anything um, but anyways, got that, let me put it back in here, uh, 
also got some pliers. Now pliers you're going to need because um, of the supports which are basically like little arms that allow the print to go without having to uh, print a box pretty much. It needs supports for it to hold up certain uh, parts of the things that it's it's creating. So um, anyways you need to have these pliers to cut those off not all the time sometimes they're harder than others and uh, sometimes you might have some supports uh, inside small areas that you might need to pull out and everything else so but yeah I know guys I probably didn't have a lot of energy uh, I'm super tired guys a lot of this stuff was impromptu a lot of this stuff I didn't even I don't, I don't have uh, you know anything set in stone that I do so right now uh, right now I pretty much am just winging all of this stuff see like that I'm winging most of this stuff because you know it's my first time ever doing anything so um I hope that I have more luck uh, with getting everything uh, printed correctly uh, but time will tell I will not know honestly until it is done so um but we got a long time to wait uh yeah so thank you for joining me name is robert davis follow me robert davis daily on youtube instagram twitter um uh, maybe not twitter i don't know but just anywhere else uh and if you do like or enjoy this like and comment subscribe uh share this with anyone and everyone like I said, I will be doing a lot of free giveaways. Uh, you can't see it right now because I have a bunch of stuff like down here. But I have stuff that I'm going to be giving away for free. I have some pillow pets down here. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, but it's not just that. I got a lot of things I want to give away. Uh, like I said, once I get a lot of these prints done, um, even if I wanted to create something like this, you know what I mean? Maybe I might do that and then just give it away because I can. That's the goal. Anyways, thanks for joining me, guys. We will be doing this again once this is done. Hopefully. Hopefully nothing broke. Peace out. Doo -doo.